Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV, day one of Enforce Tech here in Nuremberg. I'm at the CZ Colt booth, and that is where you will find Spur, who have been rolled up into the CZ group uh, for a couple of years now. If you know anything about Spur, you know that Hakan Spur is one of the most innovative mount manufacturers out there. And we've got another Spur contraption here. This one was at shop, but we missed it. So I'm here with Soren, who's going to tell us all about it. What do we have here? So uh, thank you for coming and visiting us. What we have here is our new RDF series of mounts. It was based on a Dutch uh, government requirement where they wanted to use an aimpoint with a aimpoint 3x magnifier, which has been done previously, but their specification for the maximum weight was so low that nothing else on the market could uh, fulfill that requirement. So that's what we designed. So basically what you have is uh, the aluminum mount and a magnifier yoke. And to switch positions of the magnifier, you just twist it. And in the down position, the magnifier rests against the rail. So if you get any side forces, that's protected by the rail. The mount consists of a scope mount body and a magnifier yoke. Then we also have an optional Picatinny rail and an optional uh, rear backup iron sight that is windage adjustable. Uh, also, uh, if you don't want to use the magnifier, you have a cross bolt right here. And when I press it out, there's a little red O-ring. So you can see that, okay, now it's unsafe, which means that if you pull on the magnifier, you can remove it. Obviously, this is much easier when you <laughs> when, when you have it shouldered. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Uh, so you can remove this, put it in a bag or whatever, or leave it at home. Uh, and also, I should note that the amount of force needed to remove it is such that for normal use, you don't have to engage the cross bolt. But mm -hmm. if you're doing skydiving or, or something like that, yeah, use the cross bolt just for good measures. Yeah, I really hate it when my magnifier comes loose when I'm skydiving. Yeah, happens to me all the time. It's a <laughs> common problem. Yeah. Uh, also, as uh, we made this design, we also got some added uh, questions or uh, requests uh, to uh, attach a uh, rail to the front of uh, the mount uh, for PEC or uh, thermal, whatever. Mm -hmm. So we did that. Uh, so we use an M5 screw that goes through the mount. So you, you can easily remove this. Uh, also on this, and I'm going to turn it so the camera can see, we have a uh, backup iron sight. That's an accessory that you can attach to the front of, uh, of the mount. And it's also windage adjustable. So you just, like a small M4 screw, holds it in place. And that's it. Very basic, very simple. So this was born out of a contract requirement, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a very particular setup, but yep. that's the thing. That's what I love about coming over here and seeing anything that Spur makes is, I mean, you give this guy a problem, yep. and he comes up with the solution that is always, it, it's, I, I want to say complicated to conceive, but always so simple in yep. execution. Yep. So it's always so intelligent. Is this going to be in the United States ever? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, our U.S. distributor, Mile High Shooting, are already taking pre-orders through their web shop. Uh, so reach out to them and you can sign up. Um, MSRP for the U.S. market is going to be uh, around $400. Okay. Uh, and that's without the Picatinny rail and the iron sight, but you have the whole magnifier mount. Okay, well, that's brilliant. When do you think it's actually going to hit shelves? Uh, I'm hoping for May. Uh, we The first production run is going to be for the military contract, and then uh, we're going to start shopping or shipping for uh, commercial customers. Okay. Well, Soren, thank you so much for thank speaking you. with us on camera. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to TFB TV Showtime if you want to see more videos like this from Enforce Tech and EWA. Take care.